Okay, so let's try to find that diode setup. After looking at the location, I know it's under the left side of the dash by this cross support, and it's that piece right there with the heat sink on it. Let me see if I can find it with my finger. Right there with that heat sink. I'm going to show you an easy way to remove that without removing the screw because it'd be really cumbersome to try to get the screw off the back side. You see them two lower tabs? You're going to want to get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm trying to be creative here with the camera. Take and bend them tabs. I only noticed because it ain't my first rodeo with these. It's actually a pretty common problem. Okay. And with them tabs bent out of the way, you can usually free the sucker up. Okay, usually once you get them two tabs bent, you can take and slide that thing out. This one's being a bear. There it goes. Okay. I'm just taking on plug the harness connection. Screwdriver, I don't know if you can see that. Okay guys, now that I got that diode unplugged, there's a couple more tests I want to perform before I go throwing a part at it. So, looking at the schematic, it's this orange conductor that comes straight from Fuse 15. So let's see if I have good power on Fuse 15. See how it illuminates the light bulb. Ah, oh, yeah, and you can tell it's nice and bright. It's a big difference. So I have a good power source from Fuse 15 to this terminal. Okay, so the next test I want to perform is a simple continuity check from this yellow conductor from this pin over to pin 87 in the relay center for the daytime running light relay. What a continuity check will tell me is if this conductor is continuous from this point over to pin 87. Now it's not a 100% fail safe test of the integrity of the wire. However, for the test equipment I got, it's the best I could do for you. So let's perform a simple continuity check. Okay, I got my DVOM set up for continuity. As you can tell by that audible symbol. Pretty much what a continuity test is gonna tell us is, is if that yellow conductor is complete from the diode side over to pin 87. Pretty much it'll be like taking a conductor, a wire, and putting it from one test probe to the other. And if it's complete, you'll hear that audible signal. So let's take and probe pin 87 and the yellow conductor on a diode connection and see if we get that signal. Okay, I got my one test probe hooked up to pin 87 in the relay center. Now we're going to go over and we're going to probe that yellow conductor on a diode connection. And as you can hear, the audible signal that's telling us our conductor is complete from this terminal over to pin 87. Okay, so with everything I gathered, with all the tests that we performed up to this point, I'm feeling confident that we have a faulty diode. So I'm going to see if I can locate the diode and we'll take it from there. Okay, I got you guys over here at my bench. I'm going to try to do a couple bench tests on this uh, diode. As you see, I get this one we just pulled out. I got it labeled NFG. I'll let you figure out what that stands for. And um, first test, I'm just going to put it on a diode check. Hopefully, you can see that. It's just a one way check valve looking deal there. And if you remember in my previous videos, a diode only lets current flow in one direction. So let's see what we got. 0.593 okay so let me reverse my leads 
All right, it's not flowing in that direction. Point five nine three. So it's working somewhat. It's not totally failed. It's not shorted. It's not all the way open. So for some reason, it's failing under a load. I got this other diode from the salvage yard right down the street because the new one would be three days out. And I wanted to try to close this video out for you guys since you've been showing so much interest. So what I'm going to do is uh, do a simple diode check on this one. This is a known good one. We put a jumper pack on the truck down at the yard and the daytime running lights work. So this is a known good. So let's see what this one checks out as. 0.820 as you can see it doesn't flow in that direction so I'm not sure there is a noticeable difference but I don't have any specs to go off of and um, maybe there's some way to tell by that reading however it's not really showing me much as of right now since I don't have anything to go off of so what I'm going to do is actually load test this on the bench to see if this is the actual culprit. Okay, for this test I'll be using my 40 amp high output battery charger as my power supply and I'll be wiring this diode in series the same way it's wired in the vehicle. So after looking at the schematic and the, the plug, I notice terminal A is the 12 volts in. I'll take this and hook it up to my positive side of the charger. Okay. From there, I'll go to the terminal B. And what I'll be doing for now is just showing you what my test light to see if it actually dims down or what we have going on. So I'm going to fire up the charger. Let's see what we got. As you can see, it's really dim. Hopefully you guys can see that from there. It's really dim. So, we're definitely having a voltage drop. If I go right to the positive, see how bright that is? We're dropping voltage through that diode. All right, let's perform that same test using a heavier filament light bulb by something you would find in the vehicle. See what happens. And as you can see, it doesn't even try to illuminate that bulb. Now let's do that same test with the other diode pack. Okay, now here's the same test with the known good diode. As you can see, the, it's a huge difference. It illuminates the bulb nice and bright. Now let's see how it reacts under a heavier load. Okay, you ready? Oh yeah. I think we found it guys. I'm going to save the voltage drop test for in the vehicle and um, we'll take it from there. I think we got it fixed. Okay, I got the new one plugged in. I'm just gonna take it sliding up in place. Let's see if I can get the slide back in its home. Okay, I got that slid back up. Let's take and fold these tabs back over. Okay, now with the new diode installed, let's see how it illuminates my test light, pin 87. Oh yeah. 
I think we got it fixed, guys. As you see, known good, nice and bright. Pin 87, nice and bright. Big difference. Now let's see what kind of voltage drop we have with the new diode installed. Here's the known good, 12.24. Alright, pin 87. 10.16. So we have roughly a 2 volt voltage drop. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I couldn't find any data on that. However, we have we have voltage. We have power. So at least we know what a known good is. If I unplug it, as you can see, 12.12. .12. Ten point one six. So roughly two volt, two volt drop. So let's install everything and um, check it out. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to demonstrate this for you. As you can see, the the headlights are off, and um, I turn off the lights up front. I'm just gonna turn the key on. As you can see, we got daytime running lights now. Okay, I consider that a fix. That lights work as normal. One more thing I want to show you real quick is that notice how they're on right now. The daytime running lights is tied in with the emergency brake. So if I go and touch the emergency brake. As you can see, they just went out. Release it, they come on. So if you have your emergency brake on, your daytime running lights aren't going to work. Let me give you a quick shot of that switch to show you something else you could troubleshoot. Okay, I'm not sure how good the light is back there, but you see this blue wire? That's your brake light switch. It works off the ground side. of It's a ground side switch and circuit. So I have my test light hooked up to a known good positive. So if I probe ground, as you can see, it illuminates the test light. So Let's just test that switch. I'll show you how it works. So right now it's a normally open switch. As soon as I push on the emergency brake, as you can see, it lights illuminates the bulb, and uh, that's how you can check that switch. Sweet. Nice. That's a wrap. Okay, let's go for a test drive. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Any guesses? Stay tuned.